I have a new song. Yeah? That was sent to me. There's a young guy uh, in Nashville, and his name is Dylan Walsh. And I'm, I'm in touch with him, and I talk to him, and uh, he sends me his, his songs. And about six weeks ago, he sent me a song. He said, there's a song I heard, he said, I think you might like it. So this song was written by a guy called Rob Corcoran, who's a dub. He's a Dublin singer working the London scene, the pub scene. And I've been obsessed with this song ever since. And I, want, I thought I would start this off by me singing this song for you. Still they keep on ringing that bell Through the blacked out windows of me bed sit hell From their steeples high they still taunt me With all their smug impunity Those bells ring with no guilt or shame Resounding time and time again The truth was told their numbers fell but still they keep on ringing that bell through the blacked out windows of me bed sit hell still they keep on ringing that bell how i wish justine was here grog yal mccree mccushla dear when she left me years ago, she said She couldn't live with the demons in my head Oh, sweet Justine, my Brixton queen You never knew what they took from me Some stories hurt too much to tell And still they keep on ringing that bell Still they keep on ringing that bell As I count me coins for a bottle at Glen I'll get a drink down me and I'll make a start I declare to Christ and the Sacred Heart All them sanctimonious pricks out there From Letherfrack to St. Peter's Square from down the burning pits of hell Still they keep on ringing that bell Through the blacked out windows of my bed sit hell Still they keep on ringing that bell Still they keep on ringing that bell That was written by Rob Corcoran, a young Dublin lad over in London. Powerful song, Christy. Can you tell me what, what attracted you to it in particular? Well, basically, Rob has written something there. He, he's written something that an awful lot of people, I believe, and certainly myself, think think about. And he's expressed something in a way that uh, I find very listenable and very singable. And I performed it three times so far. I performed it in Scotland three times uh, last week and at the very first performance at the end people actually stood up and applauded it and that kind of confirmed to me that my reaction to the song was you know the fact that people actually got it on first listening and stood up people don't normally stand up during a gig to applaud something very often at the end you get the old Encore vibe, you know, but, but it, it happened a long, long time ago with the song um, Everybody Knew and Nobody Said, the song for Anne Lovett. That kind of thing happened, you know. Where a song actually gives people a way of expressing what they feel about something, you know. Because sometimes it's very difficult to have conversations about certain things. <laughs> 